Rats, spiders and mice. Nobody enjoys having to deal with a rat, a spider or a mouse. I've never heard anyone say, bust open the windows then, open up the doors then, let the rats, let the mice, let the spiders them come in. I just enjoy me some rat company from time to time. People, for the most part, they can't even deal with one of them at worst, let alone the other two. One of them, just the way it moves and that sends shivers down the people them spine. The other two, people them will just probably get up and bust out, leave the yard, call the pest control. No one wants to have to deal with a rat, a mouse or a spider. You know what I mean? But it's got to be done, innit? Yep, if you live in this country, the UK, it's got to be done. From time to time, especially September as well, oh, you're going to encounter some spiders and that. And every now and then from time to time, you might encounter a mouse or a rat. Depends on, obviously, the sort of property you live in and that. If you live on, I don't know, a 10th floor flat, you're probably not going to encounter a rat or a mouse and that, innit? But if you live on a ground floor house or something like that, then, yeah, you're going to probably encounter a mouse or a rat from time to time. Definitely spiders and that. Got a little funny story for you lot still Before I get into that, let me get into this So in my time I've had to deal with a few rats And a few mice from time to time My yard up in Northampton I'm in Edmonton right now My yard up in Northampton I left it empty for about 6 months And A rat came into the yard Now I've got a little toilet downstairs And I noticed one time there was this big massive hole Like it was cut out by a tradesman and that I noticed when I looked in there There was a lot of rat droppings and that So I was like what's going on over here in it But obviously a lot of buildings and that Don't think for one minute Just because you've never seen a mouse or a rat in your house That doesn't mean that they're not in Within the fabric of the building That doesn't mean that they're not under the floorboards and that If you live in a terraced house I can guarantee you yeah, You've got rats and mice just running through yeah? If you live at number one They can run from number one to number 20 No problem and that Mice and rats they can dislocate their body To fit through like the, the hole That's the size of like a 50p coin Or a 5p coin something like that Maybe the, obviously the mice can fit through a smaller hole And the rats obviously a little bit bigger Because they've got bigger heads and that So I remember one time My yard was unoccupied for about six months. This time man was working at that Holborn, the infamous Holborn job, innit? And I had to go up there a few times and, and I noticed like there was a strange smell. And I remember, you know that big hole I was telling you about just a second ago? I remember I put a plastic bag in that big hole. And when I went to the toilet downstairs, after I put the big, after I put a plastic bag in that big hole, when I went up there a week later and I went to the toilet, the bag was gone. The fucking rats took it. So I'm like, oh god. Anyway, man's gone back up to the house a couple of more times and that. And there was a strange smell in the living room and that. Now, if you got your windows closed and that for six months, the house is not going to smell fresh. You know, you need to air out your yard from time to time, innit? I mean, on a daily basis, really and truly. I noticed there was a strange smell and that. And I got some long curtains that are on the floor. Yeah, long curtains that touch the floor. I remember I was walking around downstairs, man got a lot, I had a lot of junk downstairs in the living room and that. And I remember before there was some poison ivy, you know the weed, poison ivy, it was coming into the house. One of the tenants said, hey, like, yo, there's some poison ivy coming in uh, near the ceiling and that on the wall. So anyway, that was time ago, wasn't it? So these times man's in the yard walking around in the living room downstairs, there's a lot of junk and that. And it looked like poison ivy was on the floor. I'm like, right, how's poison ivy coming in again? And I looked and I realised that ain't poison ivy, that's a fucking rat tail. Thankfully the rat was dead. I man had to psych myself up for a good one to two, five minutes to go and deal with this rat. Because when you're on your own and it's your yard and that, there's no mum and dad to call or there's no little sister to brave it for. You understand? It's easier to be brave when you got a little child around you, innit? Yeah? So when I was in the yard on my own, that man had to psych myself up like blah. Who wants to have to be picking up dead rats and I didn't even, I don't I didn't have nothing to pick it up with. As well Luckily I think I had a glove um, Like an old latex glove Like a latex glove Or like a washing up glove That man did dash in the bin Obviously So I had to deal with the rat in it. Um, And after that as well 
man's found other rats in, in the yard and I remember like man's removed the panel and it was a rat, a live rat sitting on top of the fucking like the drain pipe and that. Man's jumped back and that in it. Imagine removing a panel that's in, you know, like one of the bedrooms and that and then there's a rat there in it and the rats bust out and that. Yeah, I bust out too, man. I to jump back and that. Um, I set a trap. And when I went into the bedroom a couple of weeks later, there was a dead rat and yeah, it was all decomposed and that, whatever. And I had to deal with that. Since then, I haven't had to deal or had any sights of any rats or mice and that until... So let's say that happened in like 019. These times around like 021, I'm renovating my flat. I've got a lot of junk in this shed at the back of one of my flats. And when I was decluttering this sh uh, shed, I noticed there was a lot of torn up bits of plastic and paper and that and cardboard. And I was like, well, there's definitely a mouse or a rat in there. And I must have been decluttering it and I'm putting it onto the grass that's in the back garden and that. And I must have picked up a box that was had all the shredded up stuff in, that, in there. Anyway, next thing I know, I see the box moving. Next thing I know, there's a mouse on the floor. And for some reason, I just tried to step on it and kill it and that. Then I thought to myself, why are... Why, why as human beings, why are we a bit afraid of mice and rats and that? Like, the difference between a mouse and a hamster is... Like, a, a mouse is just a hamster with a long tail that moves a little bit faster. The difference between a rat and a flipping guinea pig is that a rat just has a long tail you know even like a screw people see screws on the floor no one's scared of screws like we like screws and that you get me if a screw came up to us i'm sure most people would stroke the screw on that we see them little cute video them where the people them is giving the screw or a bottle of water to drink and that you know what i'm saying like, if i saw a screw on my window and that like you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna be trying to shoot the thing away and that they don't pose a threat so anyway man googled like why are human beings why are we a little bit like afraid of mice and rats and it goes back to an evolutionary thing that we've inherited over the generations and that and basically mice and rats have been associated with disease you know like the black death and them things that obviously black people weren't subjected to the black death because that was a european thing but still maybe in africa and that if you're black yeah just because you're jamaican or that you're, you're african yeah we might be predisposed to having some fear or some little bit of paranoia to do with rats and mice and that i just thought it was odd that like why are we afraid of Matsurai? Right? They're more scared of us than we're scared of them. So anyway, to be fair, actually, not too long ago, I was in one tenant's house and the yard was mad, dirty and that. I'm in the fuse box cupboard doing what I'm doing in it at the fuse box, testing the fuse box. And I hear some rustling and that. But obviously there's junk in this cupboard and I put the fuse box cover on the thing so it might have slid. Anyway, there's some rustling and that. And this woman had this like, it's like a, not a curtain pole, but like a, a wardrobe kind of pole so you can hang stuff up inside the cupboard. There's some rustling in that. I look to my left, I see a mouse running along it. Now, I didn't bust out or nothing in it, but man, you get me? I was like, rah! Then I said to myself, blood, it's a fucking mouse, but I get back to work, pussy. Anyway, man, got back to work and that was keep, keep a look over my shoulder, you know, like when man was on road and man was doing a bit of wheeling and dealing, that man had to look over his shoulder for the police and the Jake said that in it. So man was still, you get me keeping an eye on my shoulder and I don't know, mouse running up on me and that in it. But um, that was only about two weeks ago as well. So anyway, last night, I'm in my mum's yard. It's my mum's birthday today, but I was there yesterday. Came down yesterday, which was Friday. Me and my mum's shot. Everyone's gone to bed. It's like 9 30, 10 o'clock. Yeah, probably 10 o'clock easily. I'm sitting in the living room watching TV. And the sofa's here, the TV's there, and next to the TV, the living room door is where you enter the living room. So anyway, boom, I'm sitting down. And I just see something just go. Phew. So I'm like, why the fuck's the spider so big? But I realised, blood, that's not a spider, blood, that's a fucking mouse, blood. That's a real So anyway, man's got up to see where it's gone now. It's gone underneath, like, the TV unit and that. And I'm banging the unit to see if it's going to come out. Then I thought to myself, there's no point trying to catch this mouse. My mum's got too much stuff in the living room. My mum's living room is not empty like my living room. 
and that there's a lot of stuff so the mouse I, I, i'm gonna be literally chasing a mouse around a fucking house it, it, it's not gonna work blood so i thought you know i'm gonna have to get like a mouse trap the next day or something like that innit? anyway boom fucking i'm sitting down 30 minutes later i see something else come in the room it's a fucking spider man's jumped up now to go and step on this spider it's moved and it's gone underneath another cabinet and I'm like, fuck, these lot are taking the piss, blood. You know, it's 10.30, 11 o'clock at night now, isn't it? I'm sitting there thinking, well, boy, I ain't got nowhere else to go. So I'm going to be sleeping down here on the sofa. So this is the setup of my mum's yard, yeah? It's a three bed house. See, my mum's stepdad sleeping in one room. My little brother sits in the next room. He's our big boy, he's 24. And my little sister, she's taken my old room. So she's got a little box room and that. Well... I'm going to have to sleep down here, obviously, anyway, with this mouse, yeah? Because I'm not going back to Edmonton. I ain't no fucking... Um, I'm not going back to Northampton. I ain't no fucking pussy. Yeah? And I'm not going to go... Imagine me knocking on my little sister's bedroom door at 11 o'clock. Yo, yo, Janae. Because obviously, you know, common courtesy for people there, minute, yeah? You don't burst in people's room and start shouting at 11 o'clock midnight and that. You whisper in it. Imagine me going in my little sister's room. Yo, nay, nay, can, can I sleep in your room? Because there's a mouse downstairs, blood. I would expect my sister to lose all respect for man. Not even that man was even thinking that. Because my mum, basically what happened when my mum came back at that, she was like, boys, what are you going to do? I said, what else am I going to do? I'm going to have to sleep down here with it with a mouse running around. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to go and knock on my little sister's door and ask her to come share and sleep in her room in her bed because her older brother is scared of a mouse downstairs. So what do you expect me to do? So anyway... So I'm going to have to sleep downstairs with this Ross Clark mouse and that because there's no way, there's no way I'm leaving my mum's yard to go check into a hotel. I'm not leaving my mum's yard to go back up to Northampton for no fucking mouse, bro. Man, I fucking Ross Clark, man. I ain't fond of my mice. I ain't fond of rats and that, but there's no way I'm leaving my mum's yard, in it, yeah? If anything is leaving, it's that rat or that mouse, not me. So then, man, I had to sleep downstairs and, um... Yeah, I didn't even really give a shit to be fair, innit? But I noticed, like, obviously my mum's come back at, like, midnight, innit? Because she went out like, for a little pre-birthday thing with one of my family members, I think my auntie, innit? And when I told her that there was a mouse, I noticed when we were sitting down talking, she, she constantly was looking on the floor, looking on the floor, looking on the floor. I, said, I asked my mum to go and make me a cup of tea and that. She's come back and obviously the cup of tea is piping hot. So as I've taken the tea from her, I've turned away to my right to sit down on like the window ledge. And my mum's gone, ah! there's a, there, she saw, she saw it or she saw another one because she thought it was black. I'm, I saw it. It was dark brown, the one I saw in it because so there could have been two. I don't know where the fuck they came from. I noticed like my stead had the door open, the back door open for like five minutes um, before he went upstairs and then it. So maybe they, one or two came in and that. Don't get it, my mum's yard's not dirty and rats don't just go into people's houses because the house is filthy. That obviously that is an attraction for rats and mice and that. But I've been to bear tenant yards and that and the house is filthy and there's no signs of any rats or mice and that. Rats and mice will just come into people's houses, innit? I even remember one time my girl was making a video. She was sitting downstairs by the patio door and she said that she saw something and she started recording it. A rat looked like it was trying to come into the house. Luckily the door was fucking shut. So, um, yeah, I was thinking about some blood. These, these um, mice and these fucking spiders trying to take man for an idiot, blood. Like, literally, must be having to do with some big spiders as well, you know. I remember I went into my bathroom the other day, blood. You know, like when you just sit, you're like, Ross Clark. Like, obviously, man dealt with it and that, innit? RIP that spider, innit? Yeah, it's a sad way to go. But, yeah, I, this is the biggest spider I've seen, fam. I never seen a spider that big before. Obviously, I've been to tenants' houses and that and seen tarantulas in it yeah but i've never seen a spider inside my house or anyone's house that was this big before in it it was massive i could have put three 50p coins together let's say two and a half 50p coins together and that would have been the length of the fucking spider blood this guy has to come and mess up my fucking video by playing his music blood but anyway yeah that's that's about it for today um yeah i thought i'd just share a little funny story about dealing with mice and rats and that i think of myself well at least it's only a mouse imagine it was a fucking rat blood rats yeah they're, they're fucking big nowadays isn't it so yeah yeah yeah
but yeah, I would never bust out or nothing like that. Like I said to my girl, when it, I said, if we was, because obviously we've been seeing some big spiders in the house. Uh, I said to her, if a rat came in, I'm not leaving. See, I me, mean, I'm a man of pride as well. So like I said, yeah, I won't go and knock on my sisters. Well, let me come sleep in there with you. I won't do that bullshit. I'm not calling. I'll never call pest control because I'm scared to deal with a mouse or a rat in my house. Isn't it? I'll call them because obviously I want some... Uh, advice or some free fucking rat traps and that or whatever in it but i'll never call pest control to deal with a rat i mean i've had to deal with rats and 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 well rats before anyway dead ones before in it so i'll never call pest control in it me i'm a man of too much pride and honor to call another man in my house to deal with my beef blood that's just what man's like in it um but yeah yeah, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing that i had to call a next man or i was scared to deal with a rat or a mouse in it like literally, there's man out here, if they saw a mouse or a rat in their house, they would call a man. I remember, I was at one of my people them's yard, and his neighbour come knocking on the door at like 10 o'clock at night. Yo, 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 there's a big spider in that. Blood, we had to go and remove the fucking spider from the neighbour's yard, blood. This guy is a big guy, but it doesn't matter anyway, because everybody on planet Earth, God forbid you're smaller than a spider, you understand what I'm trying to say? He has a, a wife and a child and that blood. You're supposed to be the person that's the one that's prepared and willing to deal with the rat or spider or mouse and that. How can you call a next man into your house to deal with a mouse blood? And I remember, literally, I made a video talking about there's man out here who beat up their girl, but then they're too pussy, they're too shook to deal with a mouse. Literally, I know someone that beats up their girl, but they had to call a next man in their house to deal with a mouse i made a video talking about something else and i spoke about that one of my brethren that get me man started talking to again after not chatting to him for two years he must have been watching my video and played it in front of his girl in it and his girl said ah is jay talking about such and such his situation and that and he was like because she said did you tell jay about that such and such situation in it he was like, I don't remember telling him about that situation. I ain't really spoke to him for like two years and that. I said, this is the thing, blood. People need to stop thinking that their situation is unique, blood. The situation you're going through right now, people have been going through it since before you was born. People are going through it right now and people will continue to go through it, blood. Your situation isn't unique. So literally, there were two people. I was talking about someone that I know and the people them that was watching it, my friend and, their, and his girl and that, they know someone who they used to beat up their girl or they beat up their girl actively and they had to call the next man in the house to deal with a mouse, blood. That's what I'm saying, blood. People that think when I talk in my video, oh, Jay's talking about me taking it personally, blood. Even if I am talking about you and that, blood. The cat fucking deal with your situation, better your situation. At least I'm highlighting it so you can do something about it, blood. Because certain people are oblivious and that. But people think, oh, their situation is unique. Oh, blood, come on, man. Whatever you, I don't care what problem you've got right now. I don't care what your situation is right now. Someone has been going through it before you was born. They're dead. Someone's going through it right now. And people will continue to go through it long after you're dead, my brother. Or my sister watching this right now. Honestly. Don't think you're special on that. Everyone think there's some prima donna. Like, their situation is so unique and so fucking special, blood. Even when I meet people on these jobs and that. They, they talk to me and that or whatever, innit? Yeah, and we have conversations at that. And that, I think to myself, like, I've met you a hundred times, blood. Everyone thinks they're so unique, but you're not, fam. You really are not, blood. You are not unique, blood. There are some people in this world that are unique, like myself, but a lot of people are not unique. A lot of people are very, very average. If I'm not unique, send me, a, send me two YouTubers that are very similar to me. Send me two YouTubers that are from the roads and that been to jail, come out, change their life around, got properties and that still have a certain edge and element about them get me that kind of appeal to the mandem and that send me two or three youtubers that i like that blood and even if you can find two or three youtubers and that that's two or three man out of millions on planet earth you understand how unique man is isn't it so yeah but a lot of people think that they're they're unique and are oh, they're above average and they're not average a lot of people a lot of you lot are average blood average is not bad to begin with but you have to make yourself above average and but literally I could not sleep at night knowing that I have to call a man in to my house to get rid of a mouse. I, I, or a rat. I don't give a fuck. I'm not doing it, blood. With my girl, she <laughs> was talking about rats and mice coming in and that. And I said, what I would do if a rat came into the living room and the dining room, I would shut all the doors and that's it. One of us 
is gonna be leaving alive and it has to be me, blood. Some, some someone for dead, yeah, and it ain't gonna be me, blood. Yeah, I would have to kill the rat, blood. Cause I'm not busting out, yeah, I'm not calling someone in to come deal with it. I'd deal with it myself, innit? So anyway, man, that's it for today, man. Stay wise, tunnel.